Today we're taking a look at the Orco 2TB NVMe SSD. Thanks to Orco for sending this one over for us to take a look at. This is a blazing fast Gen 4 PCI Express SSD with write speeds that go all the way up to 6800 megabytes per second and read speeds that reach 7000 megabytes per second. After looking at the quick specs for this SSD, I was very interested in taking a look at it. The O7000 series of solid-state drives from Orco come with multiple capacity configurations. You can get this in the 512GB version, 1TB, 2TB like what I have here today, and 4TB versions. All of these versions are blazing fast with super fast access speeds and very high I.O. This solid state drive is the perfect size and performance level, in my opinion, for those of you who really want a larger NVMe drive, but you also want to use it as your operating system drive and your game drive, or just a file storage drive. In preparation for testing this drive, I set it up in my Ryzen 9700X RTX 4070 Super benchmarking rig. I copied over about a terabyte of Steam games from another drive, and I was looking at the performance during the copy. I was actually maxing out my other NVMe drive right around the 1 gigabyte per second read and write speeds for that drive, which is just bonkers considering this drive actually had quite a bit more to give. In terms of finding the maximum speed, I basically had to run the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark. After it completed, I saw a crazy 7,270-ish megabytes per second read speed and a blistering 6,400 megabytes per second write speed. This was excellent performance, in my opinion. I basically ran this benchmark with Windows 11 Pro installed on the drive, but not a whole lot on the drive in terms of data. I reran the Crystal Disk Mark benchmark after installing all of those Steam games and essentially filling the drive up to about 52%. I saw the read speeds right around the 7,000 megabyte per second mark, and the write speeds did decrease just a touch, right around 6,200 megabytes per second. I really think that's great considering this drive was actually just over 52% full. The O7000 drives do use HMB and a smaller SLC cache in place of traditional onboard DRAM. HMB essentially means that the SSD will use a small amount of system memory for some core functionality to help keep that drive moving fast, and combined with that smaller SLC cache, the drive will actually last longer in terms of endurance. The 2TB model that I have here of the O7000 drive has an endurance rating of 1200 terabytes written, which is way more than enough in my opinion for any average gamer or even most workstations. This drive is definitely going to outlast whatever system you install it to, which is generally speaking the type of drive that I would want in my rig. I plan on mainly using this drive as the main NVMe drive in my test bench here for holding Steam games, benchmarking applications, and this drive is way fast for video editing. I'll probably have DaVinci installed and edit the footage and have DaVinci all on this drive and then export to this drive as well. I should note that this drive is PS5 compatible in terms of storage and gaming off of it. As you saw, the drive does come with these two thermal pads and a metal heatsink that clamps together for an all-in-one nice little bundle. This will actually help keep the NVMe drive a little bit cooler during those heavy workload sessions, but as you saw on my system here, my motherboard actually comes with a very beefy heatsink for the M.2 drives, so I went with that instead. When it comes to the PS5, looking at the instructions for this solid state drive, it looks like you don't want to install that heatsink as you want to make sure the drive will fit in the PS5. So you can leave it off in that situation. It's not going to really impact the SSD too much. In terms of the warranty on this series of SSDs, Oracle warranties these drives for five years, which is awesome. You can definitely tell it's a quality drive that they're going to stand behind. I would say, after testing this drive out for about a week now, it's definitely a drive that I think is an awesome value. It's super fast, you can get this in high capacities like the 2TB model that I have here, and the pricing at each storage level is relatively competitive amongst its peers from what I can tell on most retailers. 
If you're interested in learning more about this drive or you want to check it out, I'll have links in the description below to this solid state drive and the rest of my gaming build. So definitely head down there and check it out. If you found this video useful, I would appreciate it if you could drop a like on the video. That tells YouTube to recommend this video to other people who are searching for solid, solid state drive options. If you're into gaming and product videos like this one, definitely get subscribed to the channel and then ring that bell for notifications. Until next time, keep on gaming.